Milos is a damn good coach, and right. he puts his heart and his life invested in someone else's life. This guy brought you so much cachets. I'm tired of this shit. We all been in situations where you say, you know what the f am I doing here? I know I would expect thank you from Samson to Milos in public. Milos got me where I'm at. I mean, I, I quit my job. I f buying McLarens. Hey guys, even here, and today we got another video about Samson Dauda and Milo Sarcev. I believe this is the last video, the final video on this topic. I think everything has been said at this point. In this video, you're gonna see and hear what exactly. Well, not everything, really. There is one more thing to be settled, and that's it. You're gonna see which one. But as for right now, what we got in this video, this is basically a podcast on muscle and fitness, the Maddest Podcast. And basically half of this podcast is about this. But in this video, you're going to see the bullet points, the most important things that Milos, Dennis James and Chris Cormier said about this nasty situation. And honestly, guys, I'm really glad that somebody with influence finally said it. I mean, I've been saying it for so long, but who cares about what I'm saying? When Dennis James said something like this, I think Samson is going to hear this and actually listen to it and do something about it. I honestly believe that other people who spoke about this, for example, Fuad Abiyar and the other guys on that podcast, I believe they all feel the same way Chris Cormier and Dennis James do. But, you know, they're friends with him, they're sponsoring him, so they're not gonna criticize him in public. But we all know. We all know what Samson needed to do and what he didn't do. And in this podcast, basically, Dennis says that Samson should make a video where he explains... What the hell did he say about his wife going to him instead of Milos? Why would he discredit the person who helped him get to where he is right now? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't look like Samson. Maybe he'll come to his senses after the prep is over. We'll see. But as you can see in the thumbnail and the title of this video, he did make a post thanking Milos. So we're gonna take a look at that. But first, let's hear exactly what Milos, Dennis and Chris Cormier have to say about this situation. Minos, have you talked to him since the oh. Arnold in Columbus? I never talked to him uh, since Saturday. So he never called me. I got a text message explaining that yeah, he thanked me for everything that we did so far, but uh, he's ready to start something new. Whoa, 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 did you hear that? They did not even speak yet. Samson basically ended his via text message. And it's been how long? Like two weeks? More than two weeks now? And Samson didn't even call him yet. They did not even speak yet. What the hell? I completely understand Dennis's and Chris's frustration because this is just, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. He didn't even pick up the phone and call him yet to speak about it, to explain some things. He sent him one text message and that's it. I don't need to tell you guys what Miller did for Samson. We all know that. We all see that. But I guess Samson doesn't. I would expect a thank you from, from, from Samson to Milos in public. You know, he makes a video and he thanks his wife for make, peeking him in Romania and in Prague, where supposedly we all say that was his best version. Never once mentioned Milos. So what does that mean? My son could have peeked someone Hold after on. you did a show. What was Milos's role if his wife was peeking him? Milos, what was your role? That's a disturbing message. Then I get the messages like, Hey man, why are you taking credit of something you didn't do? And uh, oh. <laughs> yes, uh, Romania and Prague. I had to stay up all night because mm -hmm. it's an hour difference. I, I would just like to see Samson to come out, clear the air for people, not especially for Milos. Don't let him sit here and, and have people thinking he was just claiming to help you or, or coaching you when when you maybe didn't listen to what he said and, and you used your wife's info. Why not just come out and do a video and, ex, and explain the situation, how it really was? He can make other videos, you know, and mention that his wife peeked in. All right, so you heard what Dennis had to say. Why doesn't Samson make a thank you post for Milos? And why doesn't he make a video... Like Danny says, he can make other videos. He made a bunch of videos. Why can't he make a video where he explains what does this even mean? Uh, is Milos coaching him? Did he listen to his wife while Milos was prepping him and making plans? He didn't listen to that. Was he coached by both of them? Did he listen to both of them? Did they both know that they were coaching him? It's still a very confusing situation. Samson did not explain anything. It's just getting more confusing, basically. And Milos, it seems like he doesn't want to say exactly what went down. 
he's trying to be politically correct, he doesn't want to offend Samson, probably, he wants to keep uh, things uh, on a light note as much as possible, he wants to be respectful, but, you know, I don't think that that's the approach right now, because Samson is not willing to step up and explain, and as far as making a thank you post, Samson already addressed this in his Q&A, and he says, why do I need to make a thank you post? I thank him in person, but did he? Did you just hear what Milos says? Samson texted him once, and he told him that he is firing him, basically, and in that text message, he thanks him, kinda. And he says, why do I need to make a post? Isn't that enough? Come on, come on, guys, don't need to explain this. Well, after this podcast, I'm sure Samson listened to this. If he didn't watch the whole thing, somebody texted him something, somebody told him, he probably saw part of it, and he decided to make a couple of posts. So, nine hours ago, he made this post in which he is thanking his wife for everything. And it's a lengthy text. It's basically another slide uh, as long as this one. I did not read the whole thing. You can pause and read if you want. It's a little bit too long for me. But basically, he thanks his wife again. And then, four hours later, he actually also thanked Milos. Uh, finally. Finally, he did listen and he made a thank you post it's half as long as uh, the post about his wife uh, but you know it is what it is at least he made a post and he says now that the dust is finally settling down from the last two weeks of a very full uh, on and roller coaster ride i can't take the time and say thank you to this amazing gentleman for all he has done for me in the last two and a half years we have been through the craziest of battles and experiences together and we have both worked so hard and tireless to achieve the goal of becoming one of the best bodybuilders in the world for which i will forever be grateful to him thank you milo sarcher for all you have done for me and the time we worked together and i wish you all the very best even though we are no longer working together i will always consider you my friend well i guess okay one out of two he made a thank you post, in my opinion, it's probably a little bit too late. It's been two weeks. It took him two weeks, and basically everybody on the internet, everybody, literally, everybody who's following him and bodybuilding, everybody was telling him that he did Milos wrong, that what he was doing was not right. And uh, I guess finally he realized, or he decided it would be the smart thing to do. A politically correct thing to do. I would not be surprised if Fuad actually told him, pushed him to do this. Because it needed to be done. It doesn't seem very genuine. Now it's a bit too late, but at least it's out there. However, he still did not address the part where he talks about uh, his wife doing the shows for him when Milos was uh, officially prepping him. What is that all about? What was Milos's role? He discredited Milos big time with that, and that was just nasty. It was a low blow, and I don't think Milos deserved this, especially not from Samson. I don't know what got into Samson. I have some ideas what got to him, but I'm not gonna say that. You know, it is what it is. He did what he did. He didn't do what he didn't do. We'll see if he's gonna actually make a video in which he explains what the hell did he mean by that? Was his wife coaching him? Was Milos coaching him? How did that work? It's still very confusing. But basically, after Dennis and Chris Cormier and Milos all together made this podcast, Samson finally did something because I guess he was pushed to do it. So we got a thank you post at least. I hope Samson is gonna clear Milos's name by explaining what he meant by, you know, listening to his wife instead of Milos and, you know, being prepped by her. That part is still very, very, very bad, but it is what it is. We'll see what's gonna happen. As for right now, this is gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more bodybuilding content similar to this, guys, please stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.